hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel uh, today i am showing some exercise for uh, some elv things so i have created one elv floor over here then we can place some racks over here so i'll just go to system then electrical equipment so i have one uh, it racks or uh, av racks over here so i'm just placing this uh, one of the panel uh, racks over here then i can place another one over here so this these two are the floor mounted uh, floor mounted panel so you can go to the 3d view and you can see how it's look it is looking like that then if you need to if you need the oh, the door opening on one side you can use this uh, select this one and you can go here and uh, there will be double door and uh, you can switch off that double door double door if you require then you can uh, use that two things over here and you can uh, make another one also here so you can just place another one rack over here so the security and ict racks so this is we can call like you can give some panel names over here so i'm just giving security secure sorry security rack one and then another one I can give a name like a security rack two. Then here I we can give like a panel name ICT rack. So and then you can I need to give the tag for this one. So I'm just giving the tag like a I security rack one. Like this you can give it. Another one I can give the another tag. You can give like that. And this one you can give a ICT rack like this. Then we can place uh, um, uh, place the cable tray. Also, you can run over trunking or something like that. You can run over here. So I need to create some three uh, kind of uh, cable trunking and one cable tray. So how we can do that one? I'll show you. Uh, I can type VV, then go to filter, then we can edit new. So I need to create one ict cable trunking so i'm just giving ict cable uh, ict trunking then i just need to select a cable tray and cable tray fittings and here you can give to uh, just to give uh, service types or whichever things you need so you can give it that one so i'm giving like the uh, uh, the same name I, ict ict trunking i can give it space ict trunking and then this is the ict trunking and uh, i need to create another one just give apply another one is like uh, duplicate that one and i'm just need to rename that one so i just want to give this one security trunking or security cable test something like that you can give i'm just giving a security trunking I like this you can give it and then um so already we selected that th thing so here only here you need to exchange here is cc security trunking and apply okay then here you can add the filter like a security trunking and ict trunking then you can give the line for here like which color you need so i'm using this color for ict trunking and uh, you can give some um, line weight also and here you can the security trunking we can give the color uh, for red and just give a color for and patterns also you can use from here so i'm using this pattern for security trunking and uh, ic uh, ict trunking and here you can give this uh, some other patterns like uh, this kind of pattern for security or ict trunking like this and then click ok then we can run it that uh, the cable tray so go to system and just select the cable trunking from here and just give the elevation around 3500 3, or something like that and you can make the trunking like uh, if you need 100 into 100 then here you can give the service type for example i am just uh, need to give the uh, first we need to give uh, ict trunking then uh, you can just run the cable trunking from here i like uh, like this way i just need to draw the cable trunking from here to like where the equipment where the all the equipment cameras and other data points are coming so you can run the cable trunking like this and from here you can just add the 
plus uh, just uh, press the plus mark and you can uh, run the cable trunking where wherever you required so here we can add it like uh, like wherever it's need to go so you can add the trunking like that another another table trunking so you need to uh, make a uh, for example security thing so just uh, change the service type from here scc then you can uh, just uh, uh, just draw a trunking with the same elevations so then uh, you can draw uh, draw the trunking like this and here uh, it's it's having uh, same elevation so you cannot cross like this so you can go to here like this you can make that another trunking and uh, somehow somewhat it will be clashing with from here okay so if you uh, go that same elevation so it will be clashing like that here right so it will not work so for that cases you just split this one just type sl and just split this area i'm just uh, cutting these two portions and uh, here you can just add this one and um, i need to change the elevations for this area uh this both are going like a uh, same uh, same like that so above ceiling okay then uh, uh, this one i just need to change the elevations uh, around uh, 3850 so it will go up right then what we need to do just go here and uh, here also you can apply the filter so go to here filter and just add the uh, trunking ict security over here and you can give the patterns uh, whichever things you need so we what we choose it for ict you can choose it over here and this one also you can choose the solid fill and uh, just give the color red so it will implement it over here also in the 3d view uh, you can see this was uh, come up over like this and then you can go to uh, here and select this one draw cable tray and it will be go like this up to here then again we, will, we can use one symbol one supports for that just to draw like that uh, i think so just uh, need to make this one little bit uh, uh, to 2750 okay then just uh, need to drop it over here just uh, draw like this so automatically what will happen uh, the bending will come up over there right so you can see in the 3d view uh, it's clearly uh, make one bending over there right then it is going up to the <clears throat> up up to another trunking another uh, another area and then here you can choose the same same elevation so one support is required for the both two are so then draw a cable tray and i need to change this height to 3500 then you can draw cable tray wherever you require like this <coughs> i'm sorry and just uh, need to create another one so just to create another cable tray so from here from this track also you can draw it that one uh, for example if you need this one security things okay, ict trunking so just change that one ict tr trunking and just to create similar then here you can change this one ict trunking then draw from here and just to draw the uh, cable trunking like that so you can make it a lot of uh, filters actually here over here and then you can give the tag for the all the uh, cable trays you can give the tags and uh, here what is the what is the problem like you um, you can just edit that edit type and you can uh, sorry just edit type select this one and edit type and uh, you can give the uh, arrow uh, something like this one so you can give it and uh, just edit the family and you can stretch the uh, size from here and then you can add the uh, service type also over here just uh, go to label and add the service type for the this one and then you can break it that one edit type just break it that one so it will come to here and even you can add the bottom of elevations also for the cable tray so if it's showing that one just to give that uh, bottom of elevations uh, it was not showing over here yes yeah, sport bottom service type 
yes so we can add that to elevation source after that we can add it that one and just go to the project load to the project and all right so it will show like this one minute it is loading so once it's loaded so we can see the service types over the elv systems and everything see this one is it's showing like uh, ict trunking like that you can uh, show show, uh, show and you can adjust the uh, adjust uh, the arrows wherever you require so you can give the another one also so you can give the tag like uh, where you require so it will be it will be you can beautifully arrange where where the space is available so you can i can delete that one and i'm just giving tg for other one so you can uh, you can give the tag like this you can make it like that beautifully and you can just move this one up to the here so like at like that you can arrange the uh, cable trunkings for elv systems and everything so you can just uh, go to the 3d view and look at how it's uh, looking the cable trays and how to bend uh, how to make the bends and everything you can uh, do the same way thanks for watching thanks thanks thank you very much and if you understood this uh, uh, this chapter then that, that one thing like uh, you can just uh, drop the cable tray to the panel how it's possible so to make a section so over here just make a section like that and go to view and then here you can give a fine and here is shaded or something like that you can give it and you can drop the cable tray to the panel like you can select that this one and uh, draw cable tray so just to draw like that so this is this is just uh, ICT trunking if you look in the 3d view you can see that it was dropping to the panel like that so another one another another uh, the, this one also you can drop it another cable tray or cable tanking like that okay so you can just drop the cable tray draw cable tray so create similar create similar so just change this one to security then you can uh, make uh, the cable tray like this from here to here and you can need to drop the cable tray in the uh, panel so you can you can see these two are connecting to the uh, panel you can just uh, see the, the both the cable trunkings to connecting to the panels like that if you like my video uh, if it's uh, useful then you please subscribe my channel it's totally related to electrical and uh, MEP rivet electrical and AutoCAD rivet things thanks for watching thank you thank you very much